Today in our 2016 Acura MDX, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-pole flat trailer connector. Part number is C56192. Now here's what our wiring kit's going to look like when we pull it out of the packaging. This is going to be a really straightforward installation for you to do at home. Basically this is all going to fit in the rear hatch of the vehicle and what this does is it's going to take signals from a plug that exists in the back of the MDX. It's going to run it through the converter box that you see here and then that sends out a usable signal for what we're really after here which is our four pole flat trailer connector. We're going to have right turn and brake, left turn and brake, running light signal and also a ground. So we'll, whether we're hooking to a cargo carrier or a trailer, we'll be able to power those lights. Now the system's going to deliver three amps per circuit for our turn and our brake on each side. And then it gives us a total of six amps for our running light power. That should be more than enough to handle any standard duty trailers and cargo carriers. The converter box is powered by a standalone 12 volt wire that's going to run into it. That allows the system to operate without drawing any power from the lighting system itself. So we're not going to have to worry about overloading that. Then you'll see our ground wire here. In some cases we can get this mounted to a pre-existing stud. If not, they've provided a self-tapping screw there that we can use. We've also got double stick foam tape to get our box adhered off and some zip ties to help us get everything secured once we get it in place. The last thing we're going to do is plug the fuse into our fuse holder and then we'll test out the system. We've got a dust cover here. Since this is going to stay inside the vehicle, it's not going to do much in the way of protecting from dirt and moisture, but this is something that we use to keep everything tidied up. Then we're going to have a 10 amp fuse and a 7 and a half amp fuse. We're going to slide right in a fuse box in the rear of the vehicle there, and that's going to send power through the system for us. When we're ready to use it, we're going to bring it right out over the threshold. You can see there's some cushion right there. Pull our door down. Pull out whatever length you're going to need, and then you'll just be able to close the door down on top of it. Just avoid that striker area so it doesn't get pinched. Just like that, we'll be ready to connect. For storage, I like to just bundle our wire up. Just like that. Fold our plug around down. We'll wrap it around just like that. That should keep it kind of bundled up and tidy until we need it. Now to begin our installation, we'll just lift up on the rear cover here. We're going to remove this console or this kind of cover that hangs out here in the back and just lift up on it. It comes out really easily. Then with a small screwdriver, we want to come in right here and pop open our panel. With that removed, we'll bring our wiring harness in. And I'm going to wrap that around this panel. Kind of out the area a little bit further back there. Get that pulled on in there. You can see our plug here. It needs to go right in that bottom slot right there. Let's pass that on over that direction. that plugged in you'll hear a little audible click indicating that you got a good connection made there now if we look right underneath where that wiring is right there in the back side we've got a couple of bolts in there let's try to use those to set our ground to remove that bolt we'll use a 10 millimeter and you'll want to have a swivel end or a swivel end extension it's on a little bit of an angle there You can see we'll just place that bolt through our ring terminal. Now if you don't have a swivel end extension available, if you don't have a swivel that would attach to it available, what you can do is just use a little bit longer extension and you'll want to go in underneath that panel, underneath the wire loom in front of it and then get it started.
All right, and then once you've got that secure, if you just kind of wiggle that a little bit, see our paper towel come off there, just pull it out. I'm going to bring the slack out. You can see there's going to be enough room where we can bring that box out, and we're going to zip tie it right around the wire loom located right here in the back. Now, I'm using a couple of longer zip ties, about a 15 inch. You can just connect two of the zip ties together that came with the kit if you prefer to go that route with it. All right, now we're gonna grab our 10 amp low profile fuse and we're gonna be putting it in position two for trailer small lights. Now our next one's gonna be a seven and a half amp fuse and that's going in position 11 which is going to be the trailer hazard. Now we want to grab that provided 10 amp fuse. We'll slide that into our fuse holder there. Get that capped off. It's going to just hang out in there. Put our cover back in place. Get the stuff put back in the rear end here and we'll be ready to test it out. What I like to do is just route my wiring up over this panel and then we're actually going to store it in this area. It'll be a little bit easier to get to there. Now that dust cover is just going to slide right over the end of our plug. And we're just going to use part number I26 here to test it. It's just a simple four pole tester. All right, we'll start with running lights. Into our left blinker, our right blinker, and our brakes. Now, with everything working properly, that's going to complete our installation of the Kurt T Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness, part number C56192, on our 2016 Acura MDX. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.